Um, music bear here. I'm going to start a series where we are going to look at uh, Synet Soup FX and um, I'm going to do that because it is the most versatile and most um, um, capable of the synths that is in the factory package of uh, elements um, which also is known as LMMS but that's pretty uh, thumb breaking so I'm calling it elements um, Synet Soup FX is another uh, thong breaker, so I'm calling it Sin. Um, I'm going to 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 go through Sin. Uh, no, I'm not, but I'm starting to go through Sin. Um, and that's a that's a lot of work and it's a big job. And I don't know how many installments of this series there will be. It's just depend on one thing how lazy I am no how much time I have because mm, I don't know all in all I think there must be uh, around thousand controls in, 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 uh, or perhaps more uh, uh, inside sin uh, and, and, and going through all of them uh, would be somewhat of a large job um, but no one should back out of large job just because they're big and I won't but first we're going to look at the knobs on the uh, elements user interface and the question that is going to be answered today is why can't I get all of these knobs to work on all instruments and especially the one I have made myself. Um, if you take a factory instrument uh, like the uh, one we have here it's called the Soft Piano 1 and it is in the package right here in the um, Synth Pianos I know you can't see that now but I think you should be able to see it now it's the first one, Soft Piano 001, um, and uh, it sounds like this. Right, and if we uh, let uh, elements play a couple of notes on, on this piano, it sounds like this. First knob, port. It works. But even though that it does work, it is not directly controllable um, in respect to uh, how is this port expressed. Porter or portamento uh, is the slide from one note to another and to come to the um, uh, portamento settings because of course <laughs> of course there are controls for that inside SYN. We want a larger, or sorry, a longer, or perhaps a shorter port between the notes, not the default that we have here. So, where's that? Well, we open the Synet Soup FX uh, user GUI, and it looks like this when it is the um, uh, advanced GUI. And you find the advanced GUI here in switch user interface mode and you choose advanced GUI. Um, and down here 
we have a section called controllers this one so we open the controllers and that guy looks like this and here we can see we have something called portamento and what we have to watch out for here is this one here the down up see if you only want and uh, well, when I say we have to watch out for it because if we do something stupid on this knob it is insanely no it, it's not insane but it's really difficult to get back to the default setting the default setting is I'm going to give you porter up and down if I move this knob to uh, the, the, the left I'm only getting portamento from notes down not up if I do the other way I only get them up so the, the problem is to to set this knob back to the exact middle po uh, uh, position so what we're going to look at is time and um, listen to what happens when I move the time down and up so almost too much so this is where you control how long your porter is going to be between the separate notes short perhaps for hip hop long perhaps for ghost stories I don't know okay and there's more to this guy because as you can see there's something over here called preparation rate and proportional depth see that will only work if you use a uh, proportional portamento or fixed portamento this is fixed portamento but you can also use proportional and so if you have a setting like that and then listen hear a difference not time move this time this is how much of the node that is going into the portamento if you understand what I mean how much will the uh, will the n one node win over another okay and this is how much of the node that is played inside the portamento So this is for very fine settlements of the portamento. And we can also work with the threshold. Um, and that's a bit complicated, but um, it has to do with uh, well, what was called um, the semi-quaver or semi-note uh that is on a keyboard um you know that if we take mm, let's see here uh when we look at a keyboard there is one semi quaver or or uh, roman numeral <laughs> i know this is this is um uh yeah well it is what it is um between this note and this note and there's one between this note and this note and again one between this note and this note so you move like this so when when the mm, let's see it down here now controllers up here so when it says here that the threshold between the uh, the notes for the portamento you can have portamento on notes that are far 
away from each other on the octave, but not if they're close to each other on the octave. You understand? So let's see if we can manipulate that into a an example. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, well, if I play it. I should be able to get portamento, but it would be very subtle, between two adjacent nodes. If we go really far down here. Yes! Can we hear it? And then if I go high up, there shouldn't be. And there isn't. So the distance on the uh, 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 between the notes counted in semiquaver is the setting that you have to to uh, use there. Um, right. So there's a lot of fiddling with the the, the setting here to get exactly the porter effect that you want. We're going back to these settings later. So that was the knob on the interface that controls the porter and the relationship to the um, to the SYN uh, settings inside the program. Next time we're going to look at frequency. Uh, thank you. Bye bye.